All right, so we are breaking into a new year and we're kicking it off in the crafting corner with vision boards by Pinspiration. Now, Jen, we've done so many fun crafts with you. You guys have, what, over 41? 40? That yep. change all the time? Yes, 40 different crafts that rotate seasonally and Valentine's Day is just around the corner, so we're gonna tease a little bit of that too. Yes, perfect, which is great because we have our Small Business Big Heart Show coming up, so we'll have some, some crafts and some fun stuff to talk about. But right now we're gonna focus on leveling up your vision board. So, you know, I mentioned mine earlier and I'll be honest, I loved my vision board, but it was kind of just a junky poster board that had some of my hopes and dreams on it, but you've got a great alternative to that. Yes, we sure do. You can come into our studio Studio and make something just as beautiful Gorgeous. as this, yes. And sustainable, like you could update it every every year. Exactly, the beauty of it too is that this is a chalkboard and on the other side there's a dry erase board, so you have some options. Perfect. Yes. Okay, so obviously you've made this look like art, so how do we kind of kick that off? So when you come into the studio, it's gonna start like this. It's okay. gonna start as raw wood. The finish that we did on our sample here is a stain with a dry brush over the top and that's what I'm gonna teach you how to do today. Awesome. So for our stain, we've just taken regular artist acrylic paint okay. and watered it down. We added maybe about 20% of water to the cup of paint, okay. stirred it up really well. You're gonna take the foam brush, okay. dip it in. You can be generous and you are going to brush with the direction of your wood grain. Okay. Yours is going from side to side. side, to side. Mm -hmm. So it took me a second. I was like, uh-huh. <laughs> sure. Oh, good. This is one of those projects that it's really hard to mess it up. And if you do, we can always help you fix it. That is my favorite. Now, I love that Pinspiration, first of all, is so close to my house because not only are there crafts, there's also drinks there. So let's talk yes. about the Pinspiration experience if people haven't been. Yes. Yeah, so when you come in, we have about 20 different types of alcohol that you can have yes. some creative juices to get your creativity oh, I flowing. I like that, okay. Yes, we have 12 beers that rotate all the time. My husband, Brandon, is a level one Cicerone, which is a sommelier for beer. Yes. So we get in some of the coolest craft beer around town. So you can drink while you craft, or you can go into our Jackson Pollock inspired splatter room and throw paint. Yes, and we actually have a segment on RiverCityLive.com if you want to check that out. It is so much fun. Okay, I feel like I'm pretty... You are covered. I, I wanted to do her proud. I was like, yes. I'm not the craftiest queen. You so did a great job. Proud here. So now what you're going to do is take a paper towel. You can okay. use a paper towel or an old t-shirt. You're going to wipe off all of that excess until okay. it looks no longer shiny. You're going to find it easiest, too, if you keep your towel flat. Ah, uh, okay. Yes, got and it, you'll got really it, got wipe it. it off really well. While you do that, I'm going to show you how to dry brush. For dry brushing, we're just going to take the regular acrylic paint with a cheap chip brush. You can find this at the craft store or the home improvement store. I dipped a little bit. Now I'm taking most of it off onto my paper towel. You really want a dry brush, which is where the name comes from. I'm also going to brush in the direction of the wood grain. You'll see it just adds a pop of color as well as bringing out some of that texture of the wood. Oh, that's fun. So that's kind of how you got that like kind of the antiqued patina. Exactly, the vintage -y kind of look, which is still super popular, very and, trendy. And I really love this because you can actually put it somewhere that's predominant in your house instead of kind of sticking it in the corner because it's not throwing off the aesthetic of your entire home. That's exactly right. When it is pretty, you're gonna wanna look at it, which yeah. means you're more likely to achieve your goal. This is something great to do with kids as well. We are a family-friendly mm -hmm. studio. So setting goals with kids is always a great idea. I'm a former teacher, so anything that motivates kids is always up my alley. And I will say, like, if you go and experience anything at Pinspiration, she does give that teacher vibe where she guides you through everything. It's a very judgment-free zone. She wants you to come out of there with something that is pretty, that you are proud of. So if you're like me, you're maybe not the craftiest queen, she will she will walk you through that. So if people want to sign up, they want to come do this craft or maybe some of our Valentine stuff, how can they stay connected and where can we find out more about your yes. lovely craft? So pinspiration.com slash Jacksonville. You can book a reservation online, which we highly recommend because we do have a tendency to fill up, especially Valentine's Day is going to be very busy. You can also find us on social media, on Instagram, and Facebook at Pinspiration Jacks. We also have a TikTok. 
awesome. And do you want to really quickly tell us what we could be doing for Valentine's Day? Yes, so we have our splatter date night, which is always a ton of fun. You get a lot of fantastic Instagrammable pictures with that. It's $99. Each person gets their own canvas in the splatter room, as well as the glow in the dark upgrade, two beverages from the bar, and chocolates. We also have a candle special that we're going to be offering for $59, where each person gets to make a candle, as well as chocolates and two drinks from the bar. Awesome. Well, you guys have so much going on there. Really take the time, make your reservation, take some time for yourself and get some inspiration in your life. We're going to take a quick break and we'll be back with lots more.